Hello, today is April the 7th, 2021, and I am trying desperately to get my reading out on Louis de Joy, uh, but it's really difficult. I get so many, there's so much background noise today, and I'm feeling a bit annoyed with our circumstance, so it's like, okay, I've got to calm down. Um, I'm going to read and see what the future of Louis DeJoy's uh, has as Postmaster General. Okay, because I, Tammy Duckworth is really in, encouraging, trying to get him fired, which he should be. Um, he shouldn't be there. He wants to destroy it. And let's just see what the cards have to say. Long story short. What does it look like? I ask the creator in the universe and I asked my spiritual mentors to help me read accurately and clearly what does the future for Louis DeJoy at the post office uh, look like what can spirit relate help me to read accurately and clearly all right what is Louis DeJoy's future there is he going to be out before he can do more damage he is a Gemini, so swords should be what he represents, or should represent him. Louis de Joy. All right, let's see what the universe has to say. Well, this is him. He has deep pockets. He is this well-to-do man. And... He said he doesn't care about it's just anyone else. It's just purely about what he wants to do in his agenda. I can definitely feel that about him. Um, what's crossing him is the Queen of Cups. The basis of this card is the Knight of Pentacles. And this to me is he's committed to carry out an action. And to me that that is to turn our post office bankrupt. Here is the King of Wands, and this is crowning Louis to joy. This could be somebody that is going to matter or is that is looking at dealing with him. Oh, I keep dropping stuff. Now, the law is there. We have justice in the near, I'm sorry, in the, in the recent past. So it means that justice is looking at him and through, specifically, it looks like it's connected to this Queen of Cups. This is a woman, I don't know whether that's Tammy Duckworth or not, but um, Regardless, there is a woman that is going to make Lewis's plans difficult, and she is connected to the law. She's crossing him. There is the Queen of Swords. Okay, in the near future, I think these are people that are trying to stop him. And it looks like right now I'm seeing, you know, two women and, and a man. And I don't believe that this is Lewis. I think that this is somebody else, a different man. Um, I would expect also King of Swords to represent him in this reading. Now, he's hoping that he can continue on with this shady game, um, these underhanded and just secretive plans that he's a part of, that he's meant to carry out. That's his point. He wants to be able to continue to act under the... Uh, the moon in a way that is secretive. 
and that isn't up front. And he just thinks honestly that he has enough money with that nine of cups covering him that he can do whatever he wants. That's what he really does think. But in his environment, there is a very emotional uh, response by the community. And this is true. If he tries to ruin our post office, this is something that is very near and dear to a lot of people that I don't think this man understands. There's people, there's, this, this country cares about that and we depend on it. So he's going to, he's going to be in deep crap. And there is quite an emotive response to this man. Here's the money again. This is hopes and fears. And he's just hoping to make, I think, more of a, um, a benefit, an improvement for himself. He wants to level up in the world for some reason. I guess he doesn't feel like he's gotten enough notches in his belt. That's the feeling. He's really a repulsive man. I'm not enjoying reading upon him at all. Um, the Magician. He's going to be with us for a little while longer, and he's going to try to pull um, manipulative crap. That shows up right here. And he's not being honest. So I see that he's going to continue to try to manipulate. And there are people trying to stop him, but for some reason right yet, they, quite, they can't quite do it. But I feel like they're building up to it. Okay, let's take a look here with a couple extra cards. Oh, there are people chasing after him. This is a queen of um, wands. I'm thinking that might be Tammy. I think, I think Tammy could be a Leo or have something in Leo that's significant. I'm not sure. But regardless of who she is, this Queen of Wands is going to make things very clear with regard to this man and regard to his manipulation. This is, I think, exposing clearly how what he's doing is nothing other than wrong uh, or destructive. This woman, I feel like, will be able to scrape away his lies and his his moon that he's hiding under and expose him, define him. This is oppressive, heavy-handed tactic, and this will cause extreme burden to the populace. So there's a need to act very quickly and get, I think, fire him, take action, fire this guy. He's too oppressive, and he's going to affect too many people, and this is going to be too burdensome what he's trying to do to the United States. So there's quick action here, finally. Looks like maybe that can be done. This is a bit of nostalgia, and the post office most certainly does have that. And this is the Knight of Wands. And here, to me, this is the populace feeling relieved and happy that this historic um, means of getting not only communication, but so many things that we need, especially during a pandemic, because um, it's not over yet, people. It's not over yet. I think there will be another kick up um, because people are taking their masks off too early and acting like, hey, I got the injection. It doesn't matter. Um, so I do see that playing out again. I, we need this. So I think the people are going to fight and I see that happening and, and feel very nostalgic also about and happy about it. But I feel like there's a woman that's able to step forward with something, and I think this woman fires him with this ace of sorts, actually, um, because he's causing too much burden. It would, what he's trying to do is going to cause too much burden upon our, our country. 
and so this is done quickly. This Queen of Wands. Let's see, that is the, this is the Chariot and the Two of Swords. So, I think he's refusing to go, but he's being told, you have to leave. You are no longer. You are fired. Out. And I think he's going to resist a bit. He's a real Trump-like type of energy. He's, he's like I said, he's, uh, um, not to say that all Geminis are like Trump, because that's certainly unfair. I have many wonderful, beautiful Gemini friends that are nothing like this. Um, but this guy is unfortunately ill-dignified, and look at that. He wants to hold on to that power. Damn it, it meant something to him. It really does. There's something about this having this power and his ability to destroy something that he's looking forward to, and how dare we take it away. Um, I think he's not going to go so easily despite being fired, despite being told, you pack up your stuff, you're going to be leaving. I think he resists. He doesn't, doesn't he, I will not go. I will not leave. For some reason, it looks like there's some kind of, that's possible as a refusal to go. And I especially see it as a refusal when I get the holding on to card, that grasping, that um, refu it's stubbornness. The man is extremely stubborn. He's also extremely scared. And I think it's because that is a buffer. That office is a buffer for him. And if he gets out of it, he realizes also he's going to be, I think, facing more trouble. And I don't, he won't have that office to protect him. He won't be able to also enjoy the power that that is giving him that he's enjoying so much. You know? Uh, let's see. We have the uh, Hierophant which talks about tradition and rules. And this is, again, I think someone coming to say, get out. Like an exorcism, you are like a bad spirit. Get out. He doesn't want to go. And so there's this back and forth and getting him to leave. And that shows up with the two of oscillating pentacles. Um, typically it's an oscillating move and it's usually like juggling or moving around. And I feel like he's playing games with the people even after he's told to leave. I don't know what gives him this right, but he just won't entirely do what he's supposed to do and do what he's asked to do. I see that he's like a brat. He's absolutely a stinker. Here is the new start with the Ace of um, Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. And this has to do with working with other people, a, a new deal. I think this is to do also with other people having this, this is going for me back to, to DeJoy, the people he's working with. He was paid to do this, and they're, they are, oh, they're leaning on him uh, to do this before he le before he's fired. And I feel like they're giving him benefits, continuing to give him a little bit of money. It's not great. I don't know, this guy's supposed to be so well-connected or so financially well-off, but he's still sure focused on um, money. I guess he's one of those billionaires or wi whatever he is that can never, that still thinks of himself as poor. Uh, he's very clingy to the coin. Here we have the five of pentacles and I believe that this is the post office is in poor shape because of mismanagement and so on. And certainly his acts to really bring it down don't help. There are choices that need to be made that would, the question is, are the choices he is that he's making, are they for the betterment of that post office or not? And they're not. 
It's very clear. This two cards came out with this, and that yeah, that was the uh, that is the high priestess and the fool. Of course, this is this is the secret deals. This is the great big um, gamble, the great big risk, and he is had secret deals with people that were foolish and high risk. And I think they're going to undo him. But it's not easy for them to undo him. His money does seem to create a barrier for him that most people, of course, other people wouldn't have had. These people are privileged at the yin-yang, and they still cheat. But he's going to be exposed. There are some really dark, secretive deals. And I think there's a couple of other countries with that three of um, pentacles and then Trump would be like, I think, another one of, and, and all his cronies, his creepy dudes and connections overseas. So they get exposed and it's over for him. Death, done. And Louis de Joy will not be very de joyful, he'll be de sadful. Here's the beginning, I think, of an investigation. Two of Wands. Oh, what have you here? What is this, Luis? Let me take a look at those records, shall we? Hand over your phone calls, your you'll be giving all your hard drives to us. And he's done, he's toast, man. So the universe is saying, don't worry, he's going to kick up a fuss and he's going to really, really scare the bejesus out of everyone, but he's not going to be able to get away with it. He will end up being made toast and he will be exposed. So big, serious connections to destroy our and, and hinder our nation by the, its ruining its um, postal service, which would be absolutely crippling. Um, he's not going to get away with it. He's going to try, and he's going to be stubborn. He's going to be a real stinker. But at the end of the day, the women get him out. I, you know, there's some, there's a man that will also be helping, but I see primarily women, women, at least three or four women that come for him. And together, um, there's a, I see a queen of wands pronouncing him fired. But he's not going to take it seriously until he has to. I hope that they will stop letting these people stay too long when they um, have overstayed their welcome and weren't and aren't there legally to begin with. There's so many messes, though. So that's good. And the universe says it's got to play out its course a certain way. This man's, this is his, um, this is his life. This is how it's going to play out. And that, that's the end. It showed you. Death, the end, toast, ten of swords, painful end too. He, he ends on a woeful, um, miserable, failed note. It couldn't be worse for him. Um, so he's going to be exposed and investigated. That's what I have for you on Louis DeJoy. So I hope you're having a great day at, or evening whenever it is that you see this. Please, if you enjoy my content, do uh, me the big favor. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much, and don't forget, thumbs up. I'll see you later.